to Jones Jr. Gets into the paint. Look out below. What a finish. Unbelievable. Derek, I appreciate you coming on the show. No, no problem. How's everything going? Good, good, good. Well, I've been going through all your highlights, and there's a lot. And I forgot you were dunking on everybody when you were in the G League, too. Yeah. That's how it is, really. I mean, you put on a show out there, and you you, you do some spectacular things, and you open up eyes. I mean, I, I feel like that that opened up the eyes for the Miami Heat for me. At what age did you start dunking? 13. I just turned 14, one of those ages. You were 13 years old? Yeah. Some of us are freaking natures. You, you just never know. So yeah. for you, do you prefer to dunk on somebody or just do a sick windmill or you throw it in the basket or something crazy like that? No, nah, nah, I want to embarrass someone. I want to dunk. <laughs> that's that's what, I, that's what I plan to do. That's, yeah. that's, that's the one thing I plan to do. You hadn't done any dunk in a game during an NBA game, only D-League, right? Nah, the craziest thing is I got called up and played against the Lakers. The I think it was the game before All-Star break. And I got three mm -hmm. dunks in that game. And that was my first three dunks in the NBA game. Gosh, are you serious? And then you did the slam dunk contest like the next week? Yeah. I forgot how ridiculous these dunks were. And I'm actually surprised you didn't win. Were you surprised that you didn't win this contest looking back at it? Looking back at it, I know I should have just, my third dunk, I should have just did some simple basic, but mm -hmm. I, I was trying to take the crowd. And at that young age, I, I just felt like I had the, the most energy ever. If I'd have made my dunk, yeah, for sure. It would have been hands down, that would have been mine. Like, no yeah. choice. Like, they, they couldn't question it all. But, I mean, I missed. But, like, what's it like when people are going crazy over the dunks you do? Like, when everyone's watching you, you go between the legs, and everyone's losing their mind. What's that feeling like? I mean, I feel like it's, it's normal to me now. Because yeah. since high school, it's just been, I've been jumping high, doing ridiculous dunks in front of my friends, in front of team coaches, dunk contests. I've been doing it in front of them for so long. It's like, it's just second nature to me now, honestly. You played for Miami. What was that transition like? Like, what did you improve on for that year or two years when you were with the Suns to make it to the Miami Heat? Mostly my professionalism. You know, just being, just being able to be a young player in the league and being able to, to handle everything that comes with the league. And, you know, just never being late for the bus and just always being on time for everything. And just, man, my game, it grew with the time. So, I mean, that's something I wasn't gonna worry about. Just me growing as a young man, that's that's one thing that helped me a lot. The dunk against the Hornets, where you mm -hmm. had the crossover and then you go and dunk on somebody. What is your vertical? Cause you're getting really high up. Since high school, I haven't I haven't checked it really. I mean, I, 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 in high school, it was like a 48. In I mean, high school, your vertical was a 48? Isn't that like an NBA record? Probably, I mean, I got it. <laughs> I ain't, I ain't had that. I ain't, I ain't done it in the NBA yet, so. What's the journey been like to go from the D League, G League, to the Miami Heat now, kind of like one of the better franchises in the NBA? Yeah. What's it been like for you? It's been great for me. I mean, yeah. ever since I got here, I, I've always had great vets and, and, and great guys in front of me and, and always beside me, just letting me know everything that I need to get done. And, and always being there for me, like even if I need to talk to them about anything. Have you ever had coaches say, hey, when you're in transition, don't do like a 360 dunk, don't do anything too flashy, just do a normal dunk? I talked to I talked to Coach Pro last year about it. It was actually the the game, our last game versus the, uh, the Nets. And it was the last game for D-Wade and everything. And I'm mm -hmm. like, I told Coach Pro, I'm like, I might win there this game. And here, like, just make sure that we up. And, <laughs> He wasn't up, he was down by like, I think like eight. And I actually tried to win it on Jerry Allen, so it didn't go well. Jones Jr., oh my. If a window was open at Barclays, that ball be bouncing on the street right now. Brandon Ingram didn't seem happy when this one happened. <laughs> I, I know you know, the, I don't even have to like line it up for you. What was your mentality on this one? With me, if you don't box out, and when the ball hit off that rim, you just gotta jump higher than if you don't. Yeah. And on the ball, I'm putting it through, regardless. Yeah. If you could dunk on anybody in NBA history, who would it be? I just want to dunk on the tallest person. So that was that was my new ball. So. So you yeah. wouldn't prefer to dunk on like a guard? You always nah. want to dunk on like a seven footer. Yeah, nah, dunking on guards that ain't nothing to me. And they, yeah. I take off. They ain't got no chance. You want to swipe? Yeah. 
Well, you ain't jumping with me. I think this is your best highlight. Is this your favorite highlight as well in the NBA? Walk me through this. Bam just throws it up and you just go for it? Yeah, I told Bam after that, that was the worst lob that I ever had to catch. There's always a debate that throwing the ball into the basket doesn't count as a dunk. What do you think? It's a dunk. Not a lot of human beings can do it, so it's a dunk. The dunk on Gobert, is this your personal favorite out of everyone you've dunked on? Some of my freshmen. Live action with John and Aaron. Derek Jones Jr. with a ferocious finish. Another one that should be on your Mount Rushmore is the one on Jonas, on Chunis. It, it never gets old, right? No, never. Dragic for Jones Jr. Hammered it down over the top of Jonas Valanciunas. And I want to say right off the bat, I think this is the best slam dunk contest in NBA history. What do you think? I feel like that that one with Zach and, uh, and Aaron Gordon, that that one was that was insane. Like, I don't. Mm -hmm. it, that's different. Do you want to start with your best dunk first? How does it usually work? Like, what was your strategy going into it? Uh, I mean, as everybody knows, my birthday that day, so that. Mm -hmm. yeah bringing out the runway. Everybody called me airplane mode, so it's the runway. And then having the kick brought out, me going out the canvas, that was, that was just one of those moments. I knew I was going to win over the crowd and it was going to be special. The second dunk was a 50, which is good. Mm -hmm. um, you're happy with that score, right? Yeah, of course. Perfect. <laughs> just walk me through what your mentality is, what you're trying to do. A 360 between the legs. I've been doing that since uh, sophomore year, high school. Yeah, so. I've been doing that since sophomore year in high school. It's, that's like me going up there doing a two-hand dunk, honestly. Really? Exactly. <laughs> like basically a two-hand dunk. You see Zach Levine, you see Dwight Howard. What are they saying to you? That's filthy. Well, now the third dunk was another 50, so you should feel good about that as well. I made sure, like 100%, that my third dunk was going down. Believe it or not, that, that third dunk was the same one I tried. When I missed it, my first time. Did you prepare for four dunks or six dunks? I prepared for 10. Oh, you have ten, you had 10 dunks that you could have done? If you see me at the end, I told him I want to keep going. When he dunked over Taco, did you think they were going to keep going? I thought they were going to try doing the same score as me so we can keep going. I, I had I had about five, or four or five more dunks. But did you think it was over when you did this right here? Nah, because I knew I know Aaron Gordon always has some up his sleeve. So, I mean, I know he like me. You always yeah. got to leave, so. I was always ready for whatever he had. Okay, but I do want to say, on the last dunk, you've given the judges a lot of credit. You've been very fair to them. This was a 48. You don't think this is a 48, right? The dunk is difficult. Like, there is no if, ands, or buts about it. I mean, I was a step in from the free throw line, still windmilled it. And it wasn't even like a, a windmill where I barely got over the rim. It was a windmill where I flushed it. Like if I was standing under the rim, like I could have stepped back. I could have jumped further back, which I tried to do. For you, you, you would dock points off because AG kind of, what'd you say, clipped his neck a little bit when you watch your back right here? Yeah, he, he kind of landed on his neck. As a, I mean, as a, as a thank you, he, you know, you when you jumping over somebody, you got to clear them. I told them, if he had cleared them, I'd have given them the trophy myself. But when he jumped over Taco and the building went crazy, I feel like it went super loud. All the guys went crazy. Oh. You you weren't you weren't worried that, oh, I might have lost? I mean, I, I was worried about what they was going to do. I never knew. You never, like, like you said, you never know what the judges are going to do. So it's like, yeah, that was my only worry. Just what, the, what are they going to do? Like, yeah. Gonna, how are they going to handle this? Are you the best dunker in the NBA? Yeah. Who's, okay, so who else is up there? Who's in the top five of dunkers in the NBA? Zach, Aaron Gordon, of course. I mean, mm -hmm. tough. I mean, it's a lot of athletes that, that haven't even been in the dunk contest yet. Like like Terrence Ferguson, people who haven't even seen after stuff that he can do. Like he can, that women from the free throw line, me and him was the ones that started doing that in high school. Are you 100% doing it again next year? If I'm healthy, yeah. Well, then I can't wait for you to do it next year because we're going to do this again when you do it in 2021, all right? Okay. I appreciate you coming on the show. It was a lot of fun. Um, keep dunking on people so we can do this more often, okay? okay. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.